Hi, I'm Eric, Director of Training here at Just Add Power. And in this video, we're looking at how to add a tiling transmitter to an AMP VLAN system. We'll start by looking at the hardware involved. Uh, first thing is going to be the router in the system. It's our network connection to the overall network. The second thing is our Just Add Power switch. And we've got a connection from the last port of the Just Add Power switch into our network as a whole. We've also got four transmitters in the system connected to four sources. We've got four televisions connected to four Just Add Power receivers. And then the star of the show is our Tyler right here at the bottom. The Tyler is made up of four receivers. So think of it like four televisions uh, represented by the white wires and one transmitter or one extra source for your system. So let's get into AMP and see how we connect this up. So we're at the point in AMP where we've already assigned our network adapter for our PC. We've already chosen the model of switch we're going to use. We've already uploaded the discovery configuration to the switch. And we've gotten to the point where we're telling it how many transmitters and how many receivers we have in our system. Uh, this switch will take up to 23 devices. So now we just need to tell it how many receivers. So remember, we have four regular receivers, four televisions in the system. But we also have a tiling transmitter. A tiling transmitter is four receivers because there are four network ports that go out of the tiling transmitter. So I'm going to add four to my receiver count to account for the four receivers in the tiling transmitter. Now for transmitters, we've got four regular transmitters, four sources in the system. And then the tiling transmitter is a new source, but it's only a single source. So I'm increasing my transmitter count by one to account for that Tyler. Once I've assigned everything, I'm going to hit go and it's going to tell me how to connect devices to my switch. Now we just have to connect our devices to the switch the way the diagram tells us to. We'll start with our televisions. We've got receiver one, receiver two, receiver three and receiver four. Those are our regular televisions in the system. I'm going to connect our regular transmitters starting on port nine. Transmitter two, transmitter three and transmitter four. And then my tiling devices are going to connect just like regular TVs for the receivers. So receiver number five is my Tyler, receiver six, receiver seven, and receiver eight. They go in the section with receivers. And then my tiling transmitter, I'm connecting as transmitter five. A good point of note here is you don't want to make your tiling transmitter the first transmitter in the system. You also don't want to make your tiling receivers the first receivers in the system. We recommend you put them towards the back end. The reasoning behind that is when you're finished configuring the system, transmitter one is going to show on everything. And so if your Tyler is transmitter one, what ends up is it's the Tyler watching itself, watching itself, watching itself, which is going to have black video on every TV. And it's going to look like your system isn't working because you're standing in a hall of mirrors in a dark room. So of course you're getting black everywhere. So we recommend a regular transmitter on source one. And then your Tyler would be more towards the back of your system. Let's go back to AMP and see how that changed things. Now that all our devices are connected to the switch, we're going to discover. Just like any other run through, a uh, program is going to go out. And it's going to look for devices that are connected to the switch. Uh, in this case, we've got both regular receivers and transmitters, and we've got the tiling receiver and transmitter. So once the window populates, we'll be able to tell which ports are connected to tiling pieces and which ones are connected to normal pieces. All the devices we've attached to the switch have been discovered. Uh, this system did not need a firmware update, but remember, if a firmware update was needed, it would have happened just before this point. Uh, if we look at our list for our models, we've got our four standard receivers on ports one through four. And if we scroll down a little bit, the tiling receivers show up as 3G plus 4 plus receivers. And they're in ports 5, 6, 7, 8, just like we connected on the switch. We scroll down to the transmitters. 
We've got our four standard transmitters in ports 9 through 12. And we've got our 3G plus 4 plus transmitter, that's our tiling transmitter, in port 13. Everything was found exactly as we expected it. Now we're just going to run through the rest of AMP VLAN like normal. So we'll click all devices found, configure devices, we'll let it do its thing, and we'll come back, we'll show you what it looks like on the screen when we're done. So this is how your system is going to look after you're finished running AMP. Every television in the system is going to be watching source number one. Now there's television one you can't see off camera, television two, three, four, and then remember we have four more televisions that are actually the windows in the Tyler. So right now everything is watching source one. So I'm going to switch to watch some different sources. So we're seeing our four individual sources. And then on television number three, I'm going to put the tiling transmitter. Now again, since everything was watching source one, the four windows of the tiling are watching source one. So we want to change what's showing on the tiling windows. So we're going to change receivers five, six, seven, and eight to give us the four windows within the tiling. Now that we've got everything connected, we know how to control our tiler. You can move on to programming your control system. So now we've finished adding our tiling transmitter to our AMP VLAN system. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact support, and thanks for watching.